Let's bring on Stacy Winters. He is the founder of Omaha Food Lovers and good friend of ours on the show. Good morning, Stacy. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Trent. Thanks Welcome for back. Me. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, so the uh, the group's up over eighty nine thousand now. Yeah, it continues to grow. It's. Uh, I think we need to start taking bets on how soon we get to one hundred. Well, I there mean, you go. ninety thousand is not that far away. I mean, no, ninety. Yeah, well, yeah, it'll probably hit there within within the next month. I'm sure. But this is only within a few years, right? When did you start it? A little over three years ago. Think about that. Yeah, three years and what, four months, five months. And it's grown holistically. Everybody has, yeah, joined as a, as a member. Yep. In their own it's, right. It's a it's a private Facebook group. So you have to, you know, you have to request or have to be invited. So 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 um so you've approved you and your co moderators have personally approved ninety thousand people. <laughs> right? That's a lot of approvals. It is a lot of approvals. <laughs> Definitely keeps us busy. Does your clicker finger get sore every <laughs> once in a while? <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, yes, it does. I'm, like, carpal tunnel has gotten not far away, I'm sure. So, Stacy, um, your uh, Omaha Food Lovers is doing some uh, philanthropic endeavors at this time. Tell us about that. Yes, this is our third year because um, I think the first year was 2020. We did this, but uh, we do a fundraiser for the um, the food bank for the Heartland. Um, every year, it's gotten bigger and bigger. It's pretty cool to see. So, what we've done is we've reached out. Um, to restaurants who have, you know, donated gift cards as incentives to donors. Um, and so when somebody donates to the food bank and we have a link, you know, to our, it's a virtual fund drive is what it's called. And we have a link, you know, on our, on our group. Um, and so we post daily to kind of giving updates on where we're at with the fundraiser. Um, but when somebody donates, they get their name into the drawing for one of those gift cards. And as of right now, just for this year, we have, I think, about 175 businesses participating, and I think I have over 425, 450 gift cards. So that continues to grow on a daily basis. Um, last, the first year, we'd raised $66,000, um, and we do it from Chris, or from December 1st through Christmas. Uh, last year, we raised $104,000. Huge. And now we're, you know, and then this year we're trying to obviously top last year's with, I think we have 19,000 more members. So, you know, you'd think you might be able to you know, beat that lot number from last year. So um, it does a great, you know, a lot of, it, it's a, the, the amount of money we're raising and what it's helping with the community and the, the food bank. I think they told me, you know, we've, we've raised enough money for 616,000 meals, I think thus far. Um, it's just it's just amazing. And you get matching funds too, right? Yeah. So there's the Shine the Light on Hunger campaign, which I think this year there's a three hundred and twenty thousand dollar match. So every dollar we raise gets matched, which is pretty cool. So, you know, if we can get it, you know, get up over a hundred thousand, we'll get over two hundred thousand. And it's all different size donors. That's that's what I was yeah. most impressed with. The the number of donors yeah, it's just as impressive as the amount. Last year we had eighteen hundred donors, which I think is a pretty pretty impressive amount. Um, this year we're we're already over a thousand donors, um, and again we'll go till we have about a little over two weeks left. We've raised forty thousand. We're a bit behind where I'd like to be, to be quite honest. Um, so hopefully, we, you know, everyone hearing this, um, you know, one of the frustrations on Facebook, right, is if trying to figure out that algorithm because, you know, we'll we'll have a post in the group that you know we'll talk about. You know, church's chicken that saw sixty thousand you know post views, <laughs> and I I can't oh my get, god I can't get a a fundraiser post view to go over five thousand, which is you know it's very frustrating. But you know we're trying we're trying to get it out there. You need to attach it. Just put a chicken uh, church's chicken photograph along. That, with that it. might not be a bad idea. I might actually try that. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I, I sold that land to him up at one hundred sixty eighth and uh, West Maple Road. Yeah. So good yeah. good for them. So. Yeah, I know. Crazy popular. So um, in the next segment, we're going to ask you about your, you know, top restaurants of 2022 that came in. But for for this segment, I want you to to, to do something that you always do for us, and that is, where has Stacy gone to lunch and breakfast and dinner lately? Where have you been lately? Where's Stacy? And where <laughs> where in the world is Stacy? So actually, this will this is I'll. I'll a couple of these are crossover because, you know, the, the new versus where I've been lately. So that's probably a crossover. Fair um, so actually last night went to Sauce by Alfaro. Um, I'd seen my uh, friend Dan Hoppin post about their Nashville hot chicken this week. So the Downtown Papillion, 84th yeah, Street. Yeah, so if you ever want a really fun evening, Sauce by Alfaro and Twisted Vine are right next door to each other. You go to Sauce, you order, they'll deliver it next door to you at Twisted Vine. So you get your cocktails, your wine, your whatever. They're having holiday beverages at Twisted Vine. But you get the food from uh, from Sauced. But that Nashville hot chicken was excellent. 
And her burgers are amazing. She's doing a screwball whiskey peanut butter burger this huh. week. Wow. So she, you know, the name is Sauce because of all of her fantastic sauces that she makes. So that was that was uh, has that whiskey peanut butter sauce on it, and it was super good. And her burgers were cooked to perfection. Like I can't I can't make one my, that well. There's only a few places where you can get Nashville hot. Chicken. Yeah, it's it's definitely gotten more. Was it popular. Omaha Tap Room maybe on? Uh, uh, at Omaha Tap House has it. Barshan has it. Uh, Jukes Ale Works has it. Um, there's 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 dirty, getting more and more. Dirty, dirty Birds, Birds has yep. it. They have an Omaha. They call theirs Omaha Hot. Uh huh. Um, there's a few. Um, I would say you know just for me. My favorites have been this one from from Sauce, but her menu changes on a weekly basis, so you're not always going to be able to get that. And then uh, Barshan or Bershan, however you pronounce it, up in Benson, I think have been my my top ones for Nashville hot chicken. I just talked to the owner of Bershan uh, this week, yeah, and uh, and a good conversation. He was talking about how he's very proud of his burger. Yeah, uh, he said he's got a burger that's pretty tough to it's, beat. It's, I got to get up and try it. His burgers are great, and I think they serve. a the same burger at Dundee Dell. I think he's, I, he said I, that. I think yeah, they're exactly the same. And their fries are good. They do like the seasoning kind of. If anybody remembers uh, Smash Burger when they were in town, they uh-huh. kind of had that rosemary seasoning on them. They do a similar type fry. So I, very good. I gotta, I, yeah, I gotta get over and try those. I've been to the new Dundee Dell, but uh, when I went there, I had to get the fish and chips, right? Because uh, that, yeah, that's it, what you get. That's what you get. Yeah. But I'm gonna go back and try the burger sometime. Um. So another another fun Sunday that I did with some friends, um, and I've talked about Ali Taco 402 before, I think, on here. Yeah, but yeah. Al- Ali Taco 402 is a uh, um, kind of a hidden gem, to be quite honest. And they are planning to expand or you know take the truck and move it elsewhere. And last year there was rumors they were opening a restaurant too, but we went and got tacos there, which are I you know I always hate to say the best, but they are if they're not the best, they're top three. Do they move around? Not yet. That's their plan. Is that just to? They said they were going to try to do that this next year. Um, so where do you find them? Just online, or so they are. They are literally in the alley, uh, like t- between 20th and 21st, and south of R Street, down in South Omaha. Wow! So <laughs> you just got you follow, follow them on Instagram or Facebook, and then you can see where they're at. But we took their tacos. We got the tacos to go, and then we went down to Bellevue and went to the Century Lounge. The Century Lounge is old school vibes, so cool. Great playlist. They were doing like a like a little Richard playlist while we were down there or, or a Dick Dale kind of surfer rock or whatever. But then they do on Sundays, they do a bloody Mary bar, $5 bloody Mary bar Like huh. for $5. You can get dill pickle vodka, bacon vodka, regular vodka. And they give you, you know, your, your, um, bloody Mary mix. And then you get all like choices of hundreds of toppings for hope $5. That's, that's one bloody Mary, right? You, yeah. You, yeah. It's not like, no, oh, you can drink. No, no, five dollars. But okay. you get to make. <laughs> There's going to be a rush. You get to. You, I, but you get to bacon. You know, pickled okra, all the olives you might want. They have everything you want to choose from for five dollar Bloody Mary bar. Golly, that's a good deal. A good deal. Um, so, I think um, kind of another one that I would put up there that I had not personally been to before was Cruisers, which is a bar and grill. I've never been there. Yeah, like 84th and F area. I'll say, I'm not sure I've even heard of it. Yeah, but a lot of people were talking about the wings there. I'm a wing guy. I love wings. Oh, who they doesn't? Were, they, were, they were excellent wings. And they every day during their happy hour, they do a 10 for 10 on wings, which is kind of like, you know, a lot of places do like Wing Wednesday. They do a happy hour wing wing every day. $10 for 10? Yeah. Okay. So it was a it was a it was a good deal. They're big wings, crispy wings, um, nice and spicy. We I did not go crazy hot. Uh huh. You know when I'm eating with my wife, I can't go to the extreme level of heat that I might want. She can't uh, keep up with your spiciness. <laughs> she, she can't keep up with my spiciness. That's exactly right. Shout out to you, Heidi. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so it was a again one of those kind of under the radar places. I, I I wouldn't have really had any idea about except for the group. You know, people constantly posting about their their. Uh, wings and their homemade sauces. So that was, that was really good. Um, not new for me, but, um, I think it gets, st- still gets maybe forgotten sometimes as mantra up in Benson. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel, I feel like they're kind of the originators of the bottomless mimosa in Omaha. They were kind of the first ones really doing that. I think they've been doing it for 10 plus years probably now. Um, but we went up there with some friends for a Sunday brunch and I feel like, you know, when people ask me for Sunday fun day recommendations, Mantra is always one of those top. You know, a bright places. atmosphere in there. Yeah, that's always, and they have they have a few TVs in there if you want to watch some football while you're there. It's always it's always at the top of my list for that. Reporting Pub is probably at the top of my list for fun day, Sunday fun day, just because that atmosphere as well. 
Um, but yeah, it was a great experience and, you know, pretty much ate the entire menu. I was, you know, trying to, I, that's what I like about friends. If you go out to dinner with me, you'll, you'll find that you're, we're all going to share whatever we get. You know, it's kind of uh-huh. like we'll order like a little bit of everything and you're like, we'll just try it all. Like, so if you, if, you know, if you want to, if you can't decide what you want to eat, we're all going to try it anyway. So. Stacy gets around. around. <laughs> that's true. I know it. I know. It. I'm a, I'm a little bit envious of it and, and, and a lot impressed. Well, we have Stacy Winters with us. He is a head of Omaha Food Lovers. And if Omaha Food Lovers was a city, it'd be the third largest city <laughs> in Nebraska. You know, we say that about Memorial Stadium all the time. And I'll tell you, Memorial Stadium has not been putting 89,000 <laughs> people in the stands you, in recent years. You surpassed years. Memorial Stadium. Yeah, I saw, I saw yeah. The, uh, like the reports this last week on how many actually attended. That's crazy. Yeah, so you're way, you're way bigger than Memorial Stadium. You're even bigger than Bellevue, which is now bigger than Memorial Stadium <laughs> uh, for, for a typical attendance. But, Stacy, we've been dying to ask you. All right. 2022, yep. a lot of restaurants opened up in this uh, this city this yeah. year. Let's hear about uh, some of them that come to your mind and what you think of them. All right. So I uh, already talked about Sauce by Alfaro. Yep. So, that, well, they, they were in Louisville, but then they moved to downtown Papillion this year. So I already talked about that one. So, I'll, you know, great place. Um, the one that I, I – we'll start with this one is Corner Kitchen. Um, Corner Kitchen opened up around 50th and G, um, kind of that old Spring Valley. It used to be a Baker's Plaza down there. If you no, didn't, it's know, more industrial. If you wouldn't, if you didn't know it was there, you probably wouldn't. You you need to seek it out. Um, it's worth seeking out. Um, Oscar Hernandez, um, former chef, I believe, like 712, 402, has, I mean, many, many more before so that. So is it lunch and dinner, or is it all three yeah. meals? Yeah, he's doing lunch, dinner. He's doing brunch on the weekends. Um, but it's kind of like I would like I would say when you see a lot of these restaurants that have their daily specials, he has taken those daily specials and put them all on one menu. So you can get a Nashville hot chicken burrito, you can get elote bites, you can get crab rangoon fries, you can get Korean tacos. Um, you, the the thing that I loved was these elote, elote bites. So he took he gets the Miller Dorman like fresh corn locally here. Um, with like a lime crema, mozzarella cheese, and wraps them all in masa and fries them. And then when you break them open, they're just like oozing with cheese and corn and lime and so good. Like you got to go try these. They're they're really, really good. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just like, and he has like miso ramen, I think. It's like Don Don noodles. Like it's just crazy combination, but it works. And it's, so it's all reasonably priced. It's really like a restaurant of chef specials. Yeah, it is. And I mean, so he, he Corner was, Kitchen. Corner, at, no, corner, corner, yeah, Corner Kitchen. Sorry, yep. At 50th and G. Yeah, Corner Kitchen, 50th and G. That would be one I put up there. Um, Izzy's Pizza Bus um, is a food truck that moved here from Las Vegas this last summer. Um, has a huge following already. Um, they just recently announced they're going to have a permanent residency at the Trucks and Taps off 108th and Q. Um, every Wednesday, they're out at Bearded Brewer, um, so you can find them you know, around town. They do do pre-ordering, so you can pre-order online. I think they open that usually at 2 o'clock when they're at like a Bearded Brewer. I think they're opening it earlier than that now. They're at TNT or Trucks and Taps, um, but it's that Detroit-style pizza. Um, by the way, there's a lot of people who are misinformed, though. They think that if you don't get in on the pre-order, you can't then get – because they've sold out on their pre-orders. They only do a limited amount. But if you go there, you'll be able to order your pizza, too. Um, but they do the Detroit-style pizza. If you like that caramelized edge, crust cheese. I like backlog. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, very good. Um, we're actually having them. My wife loves Detroit-style pizza, probably her, like, number one thing. So she's having a milestone birthday. We won't say which one that is coming up, but we're going to have them do the food for her uh, for her 50th birthday. Oh, did oh, I say oh, the number? Oh, oh, oh man, I missed busted, it. Busted. busted. <laughs> Heidi's listening. <laughs> Don't even bother to go home. <laughs> oh, yesterday I put a post. So, you, you know, Broncos does a uh, – they have a senior discount. Their senior discount is for if you're 50 and older. So I had to put that on her Facebook wall that next month she'll qualify. You did. I'm sure she was thrilled. (laughs) (laughs) She was super happy about that. No, (laughs) she's she's good sense of humor. Um, Another food truck that I really liked this year that opened was the Three Kids Lobster Truck. So I love Lobster Roll, um, and they opened up again at Trucks and Taps. The same people that own Modern Waffle, which is another food truck there. Um, The Lobster Roll, again, they're not cheap. I mean, you know. They're like twenty two ninety five or twenty two ninety nine, whatever. So they're not cheap, but this this lobster roll really really hits all the notes. Um, you know, I've had obviously had lobster rolls in the in, in the Northeast, and these this one was uh, really good. Had the right roll, had the right you know a good amount of lobster. 
not overly, you know, they, they, they allow you to do the Connecticut style or, you know, a main style lobster roll. Uh, I like the Connecticut style, which is just kind of the warm butter. So that was, uh, that was really, really good. Um, I think the one that probably hit the most for everybody around here was Texas Day Brazil. Everybody was been waiting for that place to open for probably years. three, four years, three years, something like that now. Um, obviously, the pandemic, you know, put a put a delay on that. But now that it's here, it's definitely gotten very, very popular. Honestly, it's really, in my opinion, very reasonable for what you get. I think it's like forty seven ninety nine a person, at least for dinner. I think they offer certain lunches where it might be cheaper. But, I mean, it's all you can eat, steak and whatever, like, 12, 13, 14 different types of meat, and then their salad bar is ridiculously good too. Try to avoid the salad bar so I can focus on the meats, but you know, sometimes they'll get <laughs> avoid you. Avoid your fillers. <laughs> the salad bar has so much good What's stuff. The they, catch? Have like lobster, they have like lobster bisque <laughs> on the salad bar. So it's like, you know, there's a lot of good stuff you're not going to want to skip there. So, um, uh, Sofra was another one. I think you guys did a live remote there last week. Um, Sofra, I went there. Had a mushroom truffle burger, one of the best burgers I've actually had. Kind of a smash burger. Um, Midtown you know. Crossing. I had Lox Egg Benedict last yeah. week. Very good. Yeah. So, and their fries were surprisingly very, very good. I'm, I'm a sucker for like a hand cut, you know, fresh fry. So that's uh, that really uh, that did it for me. Um, the new Canara location, again, not new restaurant, but that location is beautiful. The Regency Court. Yeah, it's beautiful. They now have a full, full bar. They partnered with Jukes Ale Works. And, Do they uh, serve lunch, or are they just dinner? We might have to look they, that one up. They did at the old location. Okay, so you keep talking. Yeah, I'll yeah, look it up. Yeah, they, they did at the old location. Um, but they partnered with Duke's Ale Works and Nebraska Brewing Company to do beer because they have that full bar now. I think I saw like a tamarind old-fashioned. They're doing some different cocktails. So that was that was a really, really, really cool place. They um, do lunch, beautiful. by the way. Yeah. Good enough. Go ahead. That was a beautiful place. Um, one place I haven't been that has gotten some great reviews is Talus in Papillion. You know, that's an area of town, I think, that's been hurting for, you know, some more restaurant choices. 114th and 370 in Granite. Yeah, kind of down by Papillion La Vista South, um, kind of catty corner from that area. But that is a place that the reviews have been really stellar for Talis. And they did kind of a, they didn't overextend themselves when they first opened. Um, so it was, uh, that's a place I, it's definitely on my list to check out. And uh, I think, you know, everything I've seen about it has been really, really good so far. Well, we'll have to go down. If you like this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And remember, Grow Omaha is not just media. This is a mission. We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.